Welcome everyone. Today we talk about how to do combat in Foundry Virtual Tabletop in version 10. I am your host, Frosty Austin, and I will summarize the basics of combat in the next five minutes. I will be using modules to make our combat experience 100% better. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section of the video. Let's begin. A battle begins when the Dungeon Master tells you to roll initiative. You can do that by right-clicking your character token and clicking the Sword and Shield button on the right. Then pull up the combat tracker and click the dice button to roll initiative. Now we activate the combat heads of display which gives you total control of your character during combat. Left click your character token to select it. Then right click your character token and click the cross swords button on the left. The next step is equipping your weapons. Click on the suitcase button in the lower left hand corner. This will bring up your character sheet. Go to your inventory and drag and drop your weapons to the three pairs of boxes above your character art. These are your weapon sets that let you know what weapons you are holding in your primary hand and offhand. You swap weapon sets by clicking them. On your turn in combat, your first decision will be deciding where to move. Turn your attention to the blue squares located to the right of your character art. This helps you determine how many spaces you can move on the battle map. The number of blue squares is how far you can walk, and the number of yellow squares is how far you can dash. Red squares appear when you have exceeded your movement limit. Next you decide what actions and bonus actions you want to do. You can use one of each. The options are located to the right of your character art. For example, you might want to attack with your weapon, or cast a spell, or attempt to hide in a nearby bush. Hover your mouse over your desired target and press T to target that character. Then click the ability button in the heads of display to do that action. It's up to you to choose the right actions to triumph in battle. My rec general recommendation is to try to use both your action and bonus action each turn to maximize your contribution in battle. When in doubt, I recommend attacking with your main weapon or casting an attacking spell if you are a magician. The next thing you need to know are free actions and reactions. Free actions can be activated at any time, but usually have restrictions in the ability description. For example, Action Surge is a free action that you can activate on your turn. Reactions can only be activated once per round in response to a specific trigger. For example, you can get a free attack of opportunity on your enemies if they move out of your melee attack range. My general recommendation is to use free actions and reactions every chance you get. In time, you will learn when to use abilities and when to save them. Now let's talk briefly about items and equipment. You can find these in the compendium packs under the items folder. Drag and drop them to your character sheet. As a general recommendation, you should buy the best armor and weapons that you can afford. This means picking armor with the highest armor class and picking melee and ranged weapons with the highest damage and range. The most common mistake for new players is forgetting to buy essential items. Let me give you one sentence bullet points for which common items you should have and when to buy them. You should buy caltrops when you are adventuring in areas with a lot of choke points, like caves and dungeons. You should buy ball bearings for when you are adventuring in areas with a lot of environmental hazards, like pit traps and mudslides. You should buy a flask of oil for when you are adventuring in areas with a lot of fire or flammable terrain like dry forests. You should buy a torch if you are intending on fighting or exploring in the dark like in a dungeon. You should buy a rope for any situation where you might need to climb up or down like in the mountains. You should buy a potion of healing so others can heal you when you go down. You should buy a healer's kit to revive your allies when they go down. You should buy holy water if you are going to fight fiends or undead. You should buy antitoxin if you're going to fight poisonous monsters or explore poisonous areas like swamps. You should buy basic po poison for extra damage in long duration fights. You should buy a flask of alchemist fire or a vial of acid if you expect your enemies to be resistant to normal forms of damage. You should buy a net for capturing monsters or characters. You should buy manacles for restraining prisoners. You should buy a hunting trap if you intend on ambushing creatures. You should buy candles or a hooded lantern if you intend to sneak through around at night. Congratulations, now you know everything you need to know to be successful in basic combat in five minutes. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section below.